Are you ready to move the wings of the bird? And we saw that we can move the character around depending on the key presses. Now let's add in the ability to move the wings. So we want the wing movement to take place every time one of these keys is being pressed, but we don't want it to take place if it's not being pressed. So coming into our value here, we're gonna create a new variable and using a Boolean of false, we're gonna set it to false. And then down here, we're gonna to check to see if move is true and if it is true, then we want to move our wings. So we're going to take our wing position. And that means that we also need to set that when we're building out that object as well. So we're setting a default wing position. So using the same object, the element object, we can set various data values within it. So we're going to set our wing position to 15. And we'll also set the style value of it as well. So style top and equal that to the wing position plus picks so that everything aligns and then now when we want to move the wing we can take that same object so setting our wing position value and we can take wing position and check to see if it's equal to 15 and if it is then we're going to equal it to 20. And if it's not, then we're going to equal it to 15. So using a ternary operator and then taking our wing style top. So just as we were setting the bird position, we're going to use updating the property. So taking our wing position and then don't forget to add in the picks in order to set it. So now every time we want to have wing movement, we take move and we set it to true. So going through here, and if it's true, so it doesn't matter which key is pressed, it doesn't matter how many keys are pressed, uh, we're going to get, the, and I just realized that this is not sitting within the correct function, so that's why it wasn't working. So let's try that again. So now whenever I, I press the key, you can see the wings are moving. They're moving really fast because my movement's really fast, but you can see that the wings are not static anymore, that it is moving up and down. And if you want to actually increase the movement, you can do that as well, where you could increase it to 20. So it'll go from 20, 15 to 20. So it's a little bit more of a drastic movement. So whatever your preference is, you can adjust this and make the adjustments as needed. So now every time one of the arrow keys is pressed, we see that we're getting the movement taking place. And there's one other thing that I want to add before we conclude this lesson, and that's adding in the space key. So I want the space key to do the same thing as the up arrow that it's going to move it up. So let's add in one more here where we've got key and space. So if either one of those is true, then that's going to be true. So it's going to move it up. So now if I press space or if I press up arrow, and obviously you can't see my keyboard, but you have to take my word for it that I'm pressing space, I'm pressing up arrow, and it's doing the same functionality. So the player now has a choice. They can press the space or they can press the up arrow and both of them will move the character up on the screen. So coming up next, we need to add in some default drag to drag the character down because this is going to be gravity and it's going to constantly be pulling the bird down. So he has to keep flapping his wings in order to stay afloat and stay in, up in the air. So I'm going to show you how to do that coming up in the next lesson.